I'd imagine that was a loophole. It looked like it took some damage. We should hurry. Are you Mai? Your grandfather's worried about you. Why don't you stop fighting and go back to him? Grandfather is worried about me? You're lying! You won't fool me, you tick! Hey, we're not lying! He really said that! I can't believe you'd use a child to try to convince me! You're despicable! Don't tell me you already got Grandfather! Listen to us! Relax. We just need to get to the ship that's up ahead. We met your Grandfather on the way. The ship ahead? So you're Utic soldiers, just like I thought. You're planning on using that ship to destroy this mine. We're not gonna do anything. Look, we're not related to Utic. Kids, stay quiet! I'm not a kid! Damn it, this is a waste of time. Just get out of our way. Uh, you've gone far enough. You're not taking another step. I won't let you. You're not getting away with this any longer. It's all right. Please, Mai, listen to us. I don't need to listen to you. I won't let you take anything else from me. I won't... Ever forgive you! Lupo!
Ether Drive! Ether Drive! Drive. Thank <laughs> you. 
paper dry. Ether drive.
Ether Drive! You're gonna take Loophold from me, aren't you? I know what comes next. I'm ready for it. Go ahead and kill me. Just like you killed my father and the people from the mine. Get a grip. If we wanted to kill you, we would have done it a long time ago. Don't worry. 
Our attacks on Leupold were just enough to temporarily interfere with its drive system. It should be back to normal soon. I don't need your pity. We're not pitying you! Whoa, Xion! Our friends are on that ship, and if you keep getting in our way, we're not gonna hold back. That ship is as important to us as this place is to you. You, of all people, should understand our feelings. <sighs> My! My! Grandfather? Oh, you're hurt. You foolish tomboy! I'm sorry. They talked about you, so I thought these Utic soldiers had gotten you too! These people have nothing to do with Utic. Oh, I swear your rashness is going to be the death of me. Can't you be a little more ladylike? The mine workers all ran away in fear of Utic. If I don't protect this place, who will? And besides, Daddy was... This place connects you to your father, doesn't it? Don't worry. We won't tread on your memories. Your ship should be up ahead. My, if you're done here, then go! I don't need any more trouble. Thank you. Huh. Jeez, she's just as stubborn and aggressive as a certain someone else we know, right, Xion? Why are you looking at me? You're all okay. Sion! Hey, glad to see you're alive too. I knew it'd take more than that to do you guys in. <laughs> We're not gonna go that easy. Chief, thank God. I thought I'd never see you again. Alan, hey, where's Cosmos? Does anyone know where she is? Chief, about Cosmos. What's wrong? We recovered the ES craft and Cosmos. But there was nothing we could do. What? What do you mean? It's best you see for yourself. Assistant number two, show her the way. Chief, this way. Her core was damaged during the fight with Telos. <gasps> we can repair damage to her frame or her control program, but there's nothing we can do about the black box once it's broken. That's not true. We can fix her. You're here, and so's the Professor. Chief, you know the only one who could repair the core is Kevin, the designer. Cosmos will never move again. Cosmos? No. Open your eyes, Cosmos. Cosmos!
save the game? 